morning. I'm just thoroughly enjoying all this legalistic bondage and relaxing on the Sabbath. But since you're here, I'll go ahead and go. Just kidding. <laughs> Truthfully, I recorded this video yesterday because I am really enjoying my Sabbath. For today's verse, I want to take you to my favorite chapter of all time, I guess because I have such a history with it. When I was five months pregnant with our second child, my husband at the time decided to look for other opportunities, I guess is a nice way to put it. Um, and so Isaiah chapter 54 became my fortress and I read it and read and I still go to it. It's still one of my favorite chapters. For your maker is your husband, the Lord Jehovah Almighty is his name. The Holy One of Israel is your redeemer. He will be called the God of all the earth. That verse brings me so much comfort. And whether you're married, whether you're single, wherever you are in life, the maker of all things is your husband. And he is holy and he is good. He is the one that protects us and provides for us, even if he does that through our earthly husband, or and even if he does that through the job that he provides for you. Maybe you don't know what a good spouse looks like. Maybe you never saw that um, displayed by your parents or you never experienced that in your own marriage or relationships but I can assure you God is a good husband maybe you're like me and the next verse applies to you and Isaiah 54 6 it says for I and I will call you back as if you were a wife deserted and distressed in spirit a wife who married young only to be rejected maybe you feel rejected and deserted our God will never leave or forsake you maybe you have a wonderful husband but it's your own mind that screams out you're not worthy and you're not good enough well as the verse says he is your redeemer and he loves you so very much you don't have to earn that love that love is given to you and your redemption is a free gift that is given to you. So whether you get any positive feedback whatsoever from um, relationships that you have around you, whether you get any positive feedback from your own mind screaming at you, what I want you to concentrate on these next 40 days is that your maker is your husband and he loves you and we only need to live to please him above all else. So I will leave you with the verse today. Be blessed and I'll see you tomorrow.